We take those tools and then we make a plan. And then as you're making that plan, you're still utilizing all of your tools, all of those lessons to make that transition. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to Spiritually Fly. I'm your host and your guide, Faith Hunter. By listening or watching this podcast, you are taking steps to rebuild your life, learn ways to courageously live out your dreams, or maybe you're here to unlock your potential. You know why you are here. So let's drop into the power of self-healing and step into a place of self-care. Along the way, I'll provide you with science-based yet spiritually grounded practices that will enhance your life and elevate your soul. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the Spiritually Fly podcast. I am your host, your guide, Faith Hunter, and this is episode number eight. As you can tell, I am in a completely different space. I mean, it's a different background, right? But the reason for this episode is because I am in a different space. I've shifted, I've changed. I've morphed, and that's really what today's podcast is about. Love the journey. It's okay when we move and shift and change, if we course correct, even in those moments when we are feeling uncomfortable and afraid to take a different road but we know in our hearts that we have to. That's kind of what this episode is about. So first, let me get into the why. Why am I in a totally different space? Because I've moved. I've relocated. I am in a completely different city. Many of you may know me from New York and D.C., and then I spent a short amount of time in North Carolina, and now I am back in the boot. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, the boot is Louisiana. I am back in New Orleans, Louisiana. That is actually where I did grad school. So I did undergrad, have my business degree, marketing degree from Grambling State University. That's in the northern part of the boot where I'm actually from, baby. And after I graduated from undergrad, I immediately, almost in a matter of months, I moved to New Orleans for about four years, three and a half, four years, something like that, give or take a little bit. And I did grad school. So, and I worked at the same time, but I did grad school at Loyola University in New Orleans. I loved it. It was an amazing time. And then from there I left and I started on my East Coast journey. I spent probably over 25 years on the East Coast. Now I am back in my state. I am back in the boot. I am back in NOLA. And baby, it feels so wonderful to be able to look out my window and to see the Mississippi River. There is nothing like being next to water that just soothes my soul. I don't care if it is an ocean, a tiny stream, a little baby creek, or the massive, massive Mississippi River. It brings me joy. It makes me happy. And just like the water flowing down the Mississippi River into the Gulf of Mexico, out into the ocean, is how we have to flow. So let's talk about shifts. (sighs) Committing to a change can be extremely challenging. It can be hard. But the one thing that we have to do is trust ourselves, be fully steeped in what we need. Now, changing and shifting, as you know, can be extremely difficult. But the thing that we have to do is to trust ourselves. But before we even move through the shift, before we decide to change and go into a different direction, we have to ask ourselves, why? Why why am I choosing to move into a different direction? And I also like to look at the bigger, broader picture. 
what do I need emotionally, physically, spiritually? What are my needs and desires in life? Where do I want to go in life? And how will this shift impact my life? One thing that I always like to do is to really sit down and, and journal when I am moving through a shift or I'm contemplating a shift. Now, like I'll definitely do the meditation, but I'll sit down and journal and actually write out those things. Why am I choosing to do this? What is it I want? What are my ultimate goals? And how do I feel this shift will impact the rest of my life? But the key, after you've written all of that down, the key is also for you to identify what lessons have you learned from the past that will assist you in moving forward. So it's really easy for us to set these big grandiose goals or have these massive intentions. But if we start to shift and move into a different direction, if we're not taking the lessons, if we're not taking the tools, if we haven't loved the journey we were in before we made that shift, it is impossible for us to feel grounded, feel settled, and feel that sense of success when we step into that other realm of life. When we open that book to that new chapter, we are still going to repeat some of the same mistakes, fall into some of the same traps. And then if we're really feeling uncomfortable and we haven't done the work and we haven't done the healing and then we haven't moved through the true emotions or we haven't fully and completely learned the lessons from the time before, without a doubt, we will fall into some of the same holes. So how do you avoid that? The way that you avoid falling into some of those massive holes or falling into those same patterns, you have to really understand your current journey and love where you are in that moment, even if it feels uncomfortable, right? If, if, if you're on a particular path and your heart is telling you, oh my goodness, this relationship is not good for me, this job is not good for me, I, I I really want to change right now, but you, maybe you can't afford to change. Maybe moving to another home is not right in this moment in time. Maybe in that moment in time, you're thinking to yourself, well, I want to make this big shift, but how am I going to do that? So here's the big question. How can we possibly find value in the current journey? so that when we do make a shift, we can carry over the lessons. We can take along some of those tools. Well, one of the things that we have to do is to give ourselves grace when we're in the current journey. We have to actually take note of any failures, of any successes, and one thing that I find to be extremely valuable when I'm in a current situation, be it job, relationship, whatever, I have to dig in deep and understand what are the tools that are keeping me grounded and steady. And those are the things that I'm going to take when I shift, when I move into or move along a new path. I'm going to take the tools, I'm going to take the lessons, and use those to support me, even in the moment of fear, even in the moment of uncertainty. So what happens when you are in the middle of your transition? And it's a scary moment. I'm gonna share with you guys just a, a quick little story based upon where I am right now, right in this moment. So. I made a decision to relocate to, to New Orleans and it took me a while, right? It took me, I would probably say months of processing how I, I really wanted to live 
my life. And in that process of really contemplating and really thinking about how I wanted to shift, or even if I wanted to shift, because at first, you know, I didn't think I wanted to, right? At first, I thought to myself, I'm going to stay right where I am. I'm good. I'm going to work this out. I'm going to figure these things out. Um, I'm, I'm not going to stress myself out, but I'm just going to kind of settle into this moment, find a sense of steadiness, and then allow the divine, allow God to show me the place, right, in terms of where my heart needs to be. And when I let go of like the pushing and tugging, right, after I've done that inner work, I realized that what I needed to do months later was that I had to let go. And that whole process of figuring out, do I stay? Do I work things out? Do I navigate the situation? Like, oh my God, it was just like constant. And then in the same mix of like trying to figure things out, I was also going through just this inner struggle. There was lots of insecurity. There was lots of self-doubt. There were nights that I couldn't sleep. There were mornings I would wake up and feel like shit. But what I continued to do was to draw upon, here's the important piece. What I continued to do was to draw upon tools, techniques, and lessons that I learned from years before. It's almost like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, all of those skills and talents and spiritual practices that I learned prepared me for this moment in time where I was months ago. And I drew upon those tools, I did the inner work, and then I said, it's time to shift. But here's the beauty. The journey I was in six months ago the place I was in three years ago, the place I was in 10 years ago, I remembered, I learned, I allowed myself to be in that moment, in those moments, and to take those lessons into my current reality. And that is the most important thing. We can't run from our current place, right? Unless we are actually being physically, emotionally abused in some way. But in that moment, we settle in to learn, we take those tools and then we make a plan. And then as you're making that plan, you're still utilizing all of your tools, all of those lessons to make that transition. So here's the practice for today is you love the journey. If you are sitting in a moment where you're, you are feeling uncertain or you're contemplating a shift, or even if you're in a situation where it is really uncomfortable and you're unsure about where you need to go, one of the things that I like to do is a little breath work and then some quick journaling. And I love asking myself these questions. And these questions are actually in my books. So I'm going to actually read those questions to you. But before we jump into that, I do want to breathe a little bit. So what we're going to do is just take long, deep breaths for about a minute just to settle in. And then we'll go into the journaling. All right. So come on and join me. So you're going to close your eyes. And if you don't want to close your eyes, you can gaze at a spot in front of you and just start to take long, deep breaths in and out of your nose. So breathe in slowly. And if you want to hold the breath for a few seconds, feel free to do so. If not, just let it all out. Breathing in. Exhale, empty out. One more deep breath in. And exhale, empty out. And so, 
when you're ready, you can open your eyes. When you're in these moments where you are feeling uncertain, you're not quite sure what to do in your business, your relationship, your career, just the whole life gambit, do a daily assessment. Do a daily check-in. And that's what we're going to do right now. Simple questions. Today, this is the really one that, that oh, oh, wow, guys. This one is, this is pretty powerful. Today, I am having a hard time because. Today, I am having a hard time because. So you just write that down. And if you need to press pause and journalists right now, go on and do so. Hmm. If you're thinking about moving forward, it is hard to move forward when? Because we're constantly moving, right? And shifting and changing. But sometimes we get stuck and there's no learning. There's no understanding. There's no inner wisdom there. So the second question is, it is hard to move forward when? The next question. I feel steady and more like myself when I. I feel steady and more like myself when I. So the important part of the work that actually I've personally been doing over the past couple of months is doing these check-ins and really figuring out what is most important for me. But in those daily check-ins, acknowledging my discomfort, but also acknowledging and recognizing those moments when I do feel good and steady. And then the final question, the final question. I am ready to feel like. So actually say what you want to feel like because that is going to assist you in having the strength and the capacity to bravely make the transition, bravely take a new step. Once you answer those questions, I want you to take another deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. And I want you to acknowledge all of the lessons that you've learned over your lifetime. Think about those and how those lessons, how some of those tools, spiritual tools, any type of tools that you get, and I say spiritual because that's usually those things that I rely on. I mean, therapy can be thrown in there, like if some lessons you've learned from therapy. Actually, my journaling is something that I, I gained from therapy when I was really young. So whatever the tools are, how they have supported you over your lifetime. And if you are in the process of making a shift or you're afraid to make that shift and transition, I want you to write down how those tools have supported you and how they will support you as you make that next step, as you make that next transition. So there you have it, guys, another episode of Spiritually Fly. Again, I want you to take time to drop into you, make time for your body, your mind, and soul to do an assessment of where you've been, all of those amazing tools, where you are right now, and where you desire to be. So when you decide to make a shift, to open a new door, to close a chapter and walk into a new space, you are fully rooted and grounded because you've taken the time to understand the journey, to ground into the journey and the path that you're on and to love that journey. And all of those things that you've gained from that journey, you will take into your new life because you've done the work. All right, guys. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Ciao.